Welcome and thank you for joining me for this video series for instructors. We'll be discussing how you can monitor labs in your class in this video. Lab monitoring is done from your class, so you'll find your class and open it. Lab monitoring will only show you active lab instances that students are running from your class. You will not see anything for anyone who has past lab instances or who are not running a lab at that moment. What you'll do is click on the Monitor Labs link, and that opens up your administration page for lab monitoring. You can set your refresh rate here at the top. We're going to go ahead and say 10 seconds. You can send notifications out to the entire group of anybody who has an active lab. You can share files. So you'll have to create your file as an ISO. And once that is done, you can upload it. And since I already have this file uploaded, it comes up for me. I can choose to share that with my students then. And once I share it with my students, and you can see active lab instances for students in my class. They will see a little message that a file has been shared with them and tells them how to open it. For the different windows here, each one of these is a different student's lab. You can see what they're actively doing in the lab. And if they make changes, you'll see changes come up. There are several different sizes available in the layout. You can have small tiles. You can have medium tiles to make it easier to read each page as people are working in them. Or you can have large tiles. And then the largest setting that we have is actually to open monitoring in a separate tab. We'll look at it in a moment. We also have a list view, and this gives you some details on the lab as it's running. It tells you how long ago that uh, lab was started, how long until it expires, and when their last activity was, how long ago that was. And you can also see what their connection quality is on their labs. And then from either this monitor link or from the thumbnail on the side or from any of the tiles we looked at earlier, you can just click on a tile and it will open up that individual lab in a new tab. And from here, you can do some things with your student. I can send a notification directly to that student as a message, and it'll pop up inside their lab. I'll hit send, and you can see that the message showed up down here. I can also take control of the lab and work through things with a student if they're having issues. So if I click on this Take Control, it will ask me if I'm sure I want to take control of this lab, and I do. It's going to load that up for me. Then I can start working in their lab environment. I can close their Internet Explorer. And get them to the place that I want them for the class. Once you're finished you, with them, you can release control. That was how you can monitor your labs during a class. Thank you for joining me for this video.